Hey guys, welcome. Farron OS 2023.04 Plasma Desktop. Today I'm going to talk about how to create a simple power off key, power off icon, and uh, altering the time that's currently set for 15 seconds. The default is normally 30. I don't care if you're using a widget or the standard way of getting out of the system. This is normally set for 30, and I changed it to 15 seconds. And I'll show you how to uh, change that to whatever time frame you want. So three things I'm going to talk about. This video is made for new users. Uh, any user, of course, can use this information, but this is geared toward new users of Farron OS Plasma Desktop. So I am filming in 1920 by 1080, so you can adjust your YouTube player accordingly if necessary. You are watching this on Linux for seniors, Linux for seniors. If you're not a subscriber, then I would encourage that you subscribe. You should see an icon down here in the corner. If you have already uh, subscribed, thank you and welcome back. But if you don't see that icon somewhere down in the right hand corner, then you can look me up on YouTube. Linux for seniors, Linux for seniors. So I'm going to start the ball of wax by talking about a simple widget. Again, this is geared toward new users. So I will assume you've never made a widget. Right click add widgets. So look for that little uh, power looking thing. It looks like lock out, lock and log out. Just click and drag it and drop it on your screen. Then you can right click and enter edit mode. Then you can resize this to your heart's content. Okay. And then I'll just toss it over to the side. That's probably too big. But anyways, you get the idea. All right. So the timer here is adjusted a little differently. The timer is tied into a file, which I'll show you how to edit if you're curious. The default is 30 seconds. And if you're good with that, then you can probably skip the last part toward the end of the video. But I'm also going to show you how to make one of these. This is just linked to a file that has uh, two lines of code on it. And I'll show you how to do that rather easily. Any user can do this. So uh, when I double click on this thing, it's going to power off my system immediately. So I'll need to think about saving my files before using any, any power options, right? Always a good idea. Now, before I continue to show you this, I'm just going to make mention that my workspace behavior is set for double click. That's why I'm confident when I move these icons around. General behavior set for double, not single. So. Whenever you have these set for single click, these activate sometimes when you're trying to move them around. And that's an undesired effect, but more importantly, it's not going to ask me any kind words like, do you want to shut off? It's going to power off no matter what. Okay. Single click on this one, double click on that one. So how do I create one of these? Let me open up, um, not the store. I apologize. I knew I click on the wrong, wrong icon. What I wanted is the file manager. All right, let me close the store that's behind here. So Farron Guy is our user for today. It's just a made up name. You can put these things in any folder you want. I put mine in the script folder. And uh, I used a standard text editor, not a word processor, to create this file. And this file is only two lines. So if you want to create your first script file, you can certainly do that rather easily. Let me enlarge this for you. So this is Keywrite. It's just a standard text editor. You can use whatever text editor that you want. Just I wouldn't recommend a word processor. So what is this cryptic looking stuff here if you've never seen this kind of stuff? Well, this is called a bin bash statement. It's a pound explanation point. There's no space in here. Forward slash bin. No space forward slash bash. Born again shell is what that stands for. And the location of where bash is, is in bin. So that's the physical location of it. On most Linux distributions, that's where it's located. The line two is just the command for powering off the system. So that's the literal command to turn my computer off. But I need the bash to run that com command. So this is all you need is two lines. If you can type this out, you're good to go. So once you finish that, you give it a name. And I called mon power off, no extension. I right click properties. This is important. And make sure that that is allowed to be ran as a program. 
allow executing as file as a program. You make sure that's checked. All right, if you want to fancy icons like this one, then right click on your desktop, create new something. That new something that I like is uh, the URL. And why do I like this one? Is because I can change the icon on it rather easily. And I'll show that to you. It's got two lines that you need to fill in. So what do you want to call your new creation? I will call this uh, P1 for Power Off. This is uh, Power Off 2. The uh, URL or where's the file located right above the cancel key is a little uh, indicator with a folder on it. Click that and click file and go find wherever you saved that. Again, it doesn't have to be in a script folder. It can be anywhere. Mine is called power off. There's no extension on it. And that's all. Now I can hit OK. If you're OK with this icon, you can just double click and it'll power off your system. If you want a fancier icon like that one, maybe right click properties, then click the icon. Now you can select any icon from the system. I'll give you a couple of examples. If I put in shut, it gives me that. If I put in power, it gives me battery indicator. So if you wanted to use this one, you certainly can. Okay, I'll make it over here where it's a little darker. But I am, again, I'm confident that these won't trip because I have double click turned on but I'm going to change that up and just type in shut. And then I'll click this one. It's the same icon. One more chance at the name. I'll just leave it at P1. So P1 and Power Off 2 do the exact same job because they were using the exact same script file. Two lines of code to power off my system. No questions asked. Unlike this one, I have 14 seconds to think about this before it powers down my system. I can now change my mind and do a restart, for instance. Or if I didn't have a widget, then of course I would just do it the old fashioned way. Okay, simple widgets is easy to create. Simple icons like this is also very simple to create. Okay, and you can put whatever fancy icons you'd like if you don't like the red power off icon. So what is this text file here? Well, this is the actual location of how to alter the time. Now I have a couple of line statements in here that are different than uh, my previous videos because in Farron I'm going to be actually looking for this particular statement is different than this one here. All right, and uh, the reason for the, uh, the line 40 to 57 because on some systems they're different. But theoretically we're looking for the property real timeout and whatever that time frame is set. It is currently set for 15 seconds. The default is 30, by the way. So if you want that longer or shorter, I'll show you how to do that if you want to do this. Okay, I'll throw the file up here. I'm going to open up the um, file manager again. Farron guy is our user. This time I'm going to do file system. Go to USR. Go to share. This may not be everybody's cup of tea, but if you want to know how to do this, hit P for plasma. And it finds the first P, a couple of lines down is the plasma folder. Open that up and look for look and feel, no pun intended. All right, so on some system, it's adjusted here. On Farron, it's uh, because I'm using the default icon set, it is adjusted here. ORG Farron default. And then I'm looking for contents. And then I'm looking for logout. And this is the file that I'm going to be editing. If you feel more comfortable, right click and copy this and save that file somewhere else as a backup. Or you can just save it in the same location and call it backup if you like. But I'm going to straight edit this. Okay, so I'm going to display it. And it's also using Kate text editor. And it actually left the location where I was last at. So you can, I'm going to make it, I'm making this bigger for you. So starting with line one, I'm going to scroll down to line 40 to 58. And uh, where's, where did I leave it? There it is. Sorry. So um, down here, I'm at 50. And what I'm looking for is property real timeout, just like this says right here. Okay. So again, I'm looking at timer. So this is currently set to 15 seconds. 
whether I do it here or whether I use the widget, it doesn't matter. It's still tied to the same file, this one. This is default to 30. That's what you'll see when you edit this file. So if you wanted the 40 seconds add an additional 10 seconds, you can do it this way. Use the same password that you use to install the system. Your super password. This is now 40 seconds. It's immediate. You don't have to wait or do a reboot. It's automatic. It's 40 seconds. That's how you know you did it right. But a lot of people don't like the 30 seconds. They want something less. I won't put in 14 seconds. Do a save. And now I'm going to close these. So that is now 14 seconds. And so is this. 14 seconds it is. So again, in 14 seconds, if I don't do anything, I can walk out the door. It'll auto shut down. If I double click on this icon, it'll auto shut down. So this one here that I, I gave you an example of the widget, it just has the lock and the multifunction. Still tied to the same timer. So again, if you don't want to alter your time, it's automatically 30 seconds. And you know, for most folks, it's probably sufficient. So again, you're watching this on Linux for Seniors. I showed you how to make that simple power off icon using a script file with two lines on it. And then we made that into a link with a fancy icon on it. You can put whatever icons you want on these things. Simple widgets, and again, simple way to edit the time if you wanted to. If you're good to go with 30 seconds, then you're done. All right, I will say thank you folks, <clears throat> and um, hopefully you have subscribed.